went to Princeton to get my PhD with the, the greatest Civil War historian in the country, Jim McPherson. Uh, so I'm primarily a, trained as a uh, Civil War historian, but I've branched out in the last couple of years into uh, Revolutionary War history and World War II history. So those, are, those, those three are my primary research interests. For the Civil War, I, I run the staff rides for, uh, for the distance uh, education program. So we do a, uh, in the first resident course, when the students first uh, arrive for a two week uh, period, we take them to Antietam. So I run that staff ride, I give them a lecture in Bliss Hall, it's kind of setting it up. Uh, I gather all the, you know, go out and find the guides uh, to do it. Um, and then in the second year when they come in for the second resident course uh, as preparation, their final preparation for graduation, we also take them down to Gettysburg. So I, I run that staff ride. So similar to the way we run the Antietam staff ride. And then also we, we have the uh, Commandant's National Security Program where we bring in civilian guests uh, the last few days of, uh, of the second resident course and I take them down to Gettysburg as well. So there's, there's a number of things that I do that are related directly to uh, my, my Civil War history background. Uh, but then uh, the others, the, uh, uh, my, my uh, Revolutionary War interests and World War II interests, I also bring into the, uh, bring into the curriculum. Particularly the World War II piece, I lead uh, groups to World War II battlefields, uh, Normandy and, and other World War II battlefields in Europe and, and also into the Mediterranean, Sicily and Anzio and things like that. And so what I've done there is using that research interest, I've, I've developed this World War II case study in my course uh, in the second block that builds on, on that research that I've done for, for those activities. And then finally, the Revolutionary War uh, stuff. Uh, I've just finished a, a book for Oxford University Press, their Pivotal Moments in American History series on the Saratoga Campaign, which was a very complex uh, military operation. and what I always do with all my research is I use what we teach in first year studies in Department of Distance Education to inform how I do my research. So, um, so it's primarily at the strategic level. Uh, it's talking about things like, like senior level leadership, uh, strategy formulation, uh, the nature of war, the uh, personalities, all those things. So all those things very much interest me. It's the things that we teach here at the War College. It's the thing that we specifically focus on in the first year studies. So using those things really inform my research and then come back and, and help, help me um, deliver the, the curriculum as well to the students. And specifically for the, for the Revolutionary War stuff, I, I help teach a uh, resident course elective on the Revolutionary War. Um, I give new time lectures on my research, uh, particularly on Saratoga. Uh, so, and I'd like in the future to, uh, uh, to build on that and, and create my own online elective for, for our distance folks uh, around the, the American Revolution, which I think is a, is, a, is a great war to study when you're talking about things like, again, strategy formulation and, and the importance of senior level leadership and personalities interacting at the highest levels. So I try to, try to take all that research and, and bring it back into the curriculum. And again, the curriculum also helps inform the type of research I like to do. So it's a, it's a nice synergistic effect, I think, in, in how, I, how I try to do that. Um, and then the last thing I guess I would say is uh, my World War II research has kind of led, led to, uh, um, I was asked to be a, a visiting professor at Princeton next year. And the course I'm going to be teaching is based on my World War II research that I've done. So it's talking about the general as statesman and specifically focusing on the, uh, the Normandy campaign or the Overlord campaign. So I'll be looking at, at how uh, you know, Eisenhower and uh, Field Marshal Brooke and Montgomery and Patton and all these, all these key leaders interacted with their civilian counterparts, their civilian masters uh, throughout the entire campaign and the period leading up to the campaign. So it's all, it all works pretty well, I think. Uh, uh, it's, it's just, I, I'm very interested in what we do in first year, uh, the first year studies, and that, that really helps me uh, focus my research into these areas that I'm interested in, Civil War, Revolutionary War, and World War II. One of the things I'm, I'm really interested in is personalities and, and how they interact uh, in, in war, especially senior leaders. So uh, my first book is a biography of a kind of an obscure Navy admiral who was um, 
uh, kind of forgotten now, uh, although his name is, is, is commonplace, it's DuPont, he was one of the, the DuPonts. But he's kind of forgotten now, but at the time of the American Civil War, he was considered the, probably the top admiral, top naval officer in the United States Navy. Uh, and he, his contributions were, were huge. Uh, he was the one who planned the blockade, the naval blockade of the, of the southern ports during the American uh, Civil War. Uh, but he's kind of forgotten now because he ran into a, an issue of civil military relations. Uh, he, he went uh, crosswise with his boss, who was the Secretary of the Navy, uh, which led ultimately to his, uh, his relief. Uh, so he's completely forgotten about now, but he had these great contributions. So, um, you know, my, my book helped kind of bring him back to, well, hopefully <laughs> helped a little bit to bring him back to, uh, to a general readership to kind of you know, show that there, there's these great leaders who we don't know about today, and we should. We should remember them today. He was also the found, one of the founders of the Naval Academy, yet you go to the Naval Academy and there's nothing about him anywhere at the Naval Academy. So, you know, it was kind of my attempt to kind of bring him back to life. Um, so my next book, after, you know, doing Saratoga, finishing that up, we're doing all the wrapping up of the editing and things like that now, but I think I'll probably go back to the Civil War and probably go back to biography because I'm just so interested in, in, in people and bringing these lives, you know, kind of bring them back to, to today's uh, audience because uh, they, they deserve to be known.